Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are going to start integration today. So this is the first topic of the final exam syllabus. So we already finished mid two. So we are moving on to the final exam. So most of you uh, might not have done integration before. So it's uh, I think the easiest idea is integration is the opposite of differentiation. Right. So we did differentiation in mid two in mid one. So what is differentiation? Please remember differentiation helps us find the derivative from our original function. Right? So integration is just the opposite of that. So integration helps you find the original function from the derivative. So it's, you know, very similar to condensation and evaporation water cycle. You might know that already. For example, clouds, they become water through condensation, rain. And the opposite is evaporation, which gives you back the cloud, the gas from the water, the rain. So it's kind of very similar, so you can relate if you want. Now let's look at some numerical examples, right? So let's say the integral, the original function is 2x plus 1 or it is 2x plus 3 or it is 2x plus 5. Uh, you should note, you should remember that capital F of X, this is used to denote the original function in this chapter, in the chapter of integration. So this capital F of X denotes the integral and it denotes the original function. Right? So please get used to these terminologies. It will help you understand the situation, the literature or the question. So integral refers to the original function in most cases and it is denoted with capital F of X and the derivative is called the integrand in most cases and this integrand is denoted by the small f of X so you understand if you differentiate a integral then you're going to get the integrand but if you integrate the integrand then you're going to get the original function so it's like a cycle, right? A circle. So quite nice, interesting. Now this idea is being captured by this symbol here at the bottom. Please understand, you know, the, all the information that we just talked about, especially the integration part here, this side, this entire thing is being captured by this simple symbol. So for example, what is, what is the symbol telling you? Uh, so the symbol is telling us so we are integrating first of all so this sign here right uh, this uh, similar to s it's called a sigma as far as i remember anyways this is the sign for integration so this tells you we are integrating right and we are integrating the integrand so remember this small f of x, this is the integrand, right? So we are integrating this with respect to x. That's why we have written dx here. So this simply means j x is the independent variable here, right? x is the variable. So we are differentiating or integrating with respect to x. Now please remember, j, if you integrate the integrand what are you going to get you're going to get the original function you're going to get the integral and this is what this symbol is telling you as well right so after the integration process right after uh, completing this side here right you're going to get the original function And you know it's quite interesting with the original function there can be any constant right there can be a 5 there can be a 3 there can be a 1 uh, but you know all of them actually disappear when you differentiate 
like they become zero so this is the idea so the original function can have any constant attached with it that is why we are using this c so this c has a special name this is called the constant of integration right so the idea is the original function can have any constant attached with it so uh, please try to understand uh, this symbol here right i think it's important so this is the symbol i'm talking about try to understand the message here now we move on so whenever you want to integrate it's very similar to differentiation just like whenever you want to differentiate you need a rule you must apply a rule so similarly whenever you are integrating you must apply a rule of integration so the first most simple rule of integration is uh, this rule one here so the rule one is telling you if you have a constant and you are trying to integrate this then your result the original function or integral is going to be just k into the variable which is x in this case right and there might be a constant attached with this and and this is what uh, ex this is exactly what we saw in the last example right j you had a constant as a integrand and when you integrated this definitely the original function is just this right the constant times the variable plus the c constant of integration so when when are you going to apply this rule it's very simple whenever you have a constant you're going to apply this rule so just in the previous discussion remember we had a constant right two so in this case you can apply this rule and as you can guess your the original function would be 2x plus any constant c right so it can be 1 3 or 5 denoted by the c so anyways uh, this is the first rule of integration you can only apply this on constants moving on naturally you're going to ask what if we have a variable what do we do then well we have another rule for that and let me adjust the screen so this rule second rule is for the situation where your integrand is a variable so you're integrating this what are you going to get well the original function or the integral is going to be this so what are we doing here we are just adding one to the power exponent and this is written in the denominator so just put this part here in the denominator that's it and definitely there can be a constant attached with the function so we denote that with the plus c so when are we going to apply this rule for example here right so you have a variable and there is a simple power attached to this so definitely we can apply the above rule and what is the above rule telling us if you look closely the above rule is telling us add one with the power so we are adding one with the power right we are adding one with the power and then we are just writing this portion in the denominator and that's it right so for example you can practice this with x to the power half you can practice this with x to the power five you can look at the examples on the website you can look at the sample quiz two question and and you can apply these ideas if you want anyways so there is an important disclaimer here you know this particular rule this cannot rule two this cannot be applied if the power is equal to minus one so if you have x to the power minus one then you cannot apply this rule so remember x to the power minus one means one divided by x and in that case you have to apply a new rule rule three which tells you right if you have this situation one divided by x the original function is simply going to be ln x plus c now the plus c has gone out of the screen 
let's see if I can move this in any way uh, I don't think I can so there is a plus C here right so it's quite simple quite easy just remember if your integrand is 1 by x then the integral is going to be ln x plus c right that's it third rule so now let's uh, look at an example where we can apply these rules together right that is what we're trying to do so again there is some technical difficulties here uh, let's see if i can just change this right so this is better so uh, let's let's focus on this example here uh, last example of today's online class online lecture uh, so we we have this situation right look at this carefully so we are trying to integrate we are trying to integrate x cube plus 1 by x so we are going to integrate these separately right so let's try to integrate x cube first so remember x cube can be integrated using rule 2 so rule 2 simply tells us add 1 with the exponent add 1 with the exponent and divide by that right and in the next expression so put there is a plus here so put the plus accordingly and in the next expression 1 by x we are going to apply the third rule the above rule here right this one and as you can see 1 by x becomes ln x as you just saw right the 1 by x it becomes ln x so that is what's going on right the 1 by x becomes ln x uh, so there is a, a simple idea here you should remember so let me erase this for your better understanding so the simple idea is this if you are adding two different expressions right you're adding two different expressions or if you are subtracting two different expressions if there was a minus here right if you were subtracting two different equations or two different expressions then you can you should integrate them separately not that you can you should you should integrate them separately so for example we integrate this first expression separately let me use a different color here we are going to integrate this separately first using rule 2 and then we are going to integrate this separately using rule 3 right or put the sign accordingly if it's a minus put a minus if it's a plus put a plus right i don't forget to add the constant of integration at the end that's it right uh, simple basic introduction to integration especially for those students who have never done integration before if you did it you can skip this lecture you can take this lightly no problem thank you for listening uh, take care stay safe goodbye